You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Earlier this week, the uh, Sean Alexander Freshman of the Year Award watch list was released. I had forgotten this was a thing. Um, and, and this goes to the best true freshman in the country, Sean Alexander, of course, the former Alabama running back who was a terrific player in his day. Um, hold on, Paulie. There was, there was one LSU freshman on the list. Uh, Muse, did you look at this list? Scouts honor. I, I did not. Okay. I did not look at the list. Polly, did you look at the list? I did just now. Yeah. Okay. Then Before this, no, I didn't. Then don't talk. All right, Muse. Shouldn't uh, be too hard for Paul. Earlier. Right, mm. Sorry, Paul. It's fair. Earlier, uh, this, was it this week or last week that we talked about the impact freshman? I think it was last week on the show. For LSU, you, when you gave your five? Yes, that was last week. Yeah. And, and as I recall... Um, I had, I had Lance Hurd. I had Mac Markway. I had Ashton Stamps. Mm -hmm. I had Shelton Sampson, mm -hmm. and I had. Oh, it was uh, it was Whit Weeks. Yes, those were my five. None of those five are on the Sean Alexander Freshman of the Year awards watch list. There is, however, don't peek. I'm peeking. There is one. LSU freshman on that list. You want to guess who it is? Yeah, I have a guess. Um, I have two guesses actually. I'm I'm gonna go with with this. I'm I'm gonna go with uh, Kamorian Pimpton as the first guess though. It is not Kamorian okay. Pimpton. Okay. Give yourself a buzzer. Oh yeah. This is AFR. We do sound effects. Here. That's true. So uh, you let me go again? Yes, please. Oh, okay. Uh, the other the other person who really came to mind just because of the recency bias, I guess, really is Caleb Jackson. It is not Caleb Jackson. <laughs> so my five, your two, were still not at the guy that made the list. Is it is it JV and Toviano? It is JV and Toviano. <laughs> um, you know, it's a little surprising because in spring football. The conversations that I had with, let's say, people familiar with the program, they love Javon Toviano. And they, if you remember, they were playing him. Maybe it's worth, I don't know if you can find something. I don't know, it's, I'm, this is needle in a haystack, but maybe you can find Brian Kelly spring talking about Javon Toviano. He was here in the spring, and they really liked him in the spring. And if you recall, they were playing him all over that secondary. He was playing nickel. He was playing safety. He was playing outside you know, boundary corner. He was playing everywhere. And they had the luxury in spring of moving him everywhere because it was like, all right, let's, we like this guy. Let, let's see where he best fits in our defense and what maybe is, is home for him. But the really strange thing is, even with you know, through, through this fall camp, as we've talked about all of the I'll, I'll say struggles, but I'm using that, that term loosely. I think it's pretty clear, and we've all talked about it. The The secondary started off slowly in fall camp, and I think the whole defense just kept improving as fall camp has gone along. And by the time they got to the scrimmage in Tiger Stadium, we all saw the first team defense got back-to-back -back stops against the ones. They forced a three and out. Nice pass breakup by Zy Alexander. On the second series, they had a forced fumble. Zy Alexander stripped Mason Taylor. Anyway, um... So the, the defense got better, but even with with the relative struggles, I'll just use that term loosely, we never saw JV and Toviano really r running out there in the two deep. I mean, when they were rotating safeties, we saw Major Burns, Greg Brooks, Andre Sam, Sage Ryan. I mean, those were the four that they were ro rotating at safety. And when we were looking at corners, initially it was Zy Alexander, Deuce Chestnut, and then we saw them rotate in with Ashton Stamps and LaTerrence Welch, and then they moved Sage Ryan to boundary corner. So oddly, so you have this was who was set this up for me. This is Kelly, and he was asked the question. He was asked was Will Toviano move around the defense? So this was in spring. This was in spring in March. Okay. Yeah, he's playing some nickel 
uh, for us right now and, and some safety. So he's a guy that has that, that flexibility. Um, we'll play him a little bit at corner here in the last week, going into the last week. But right now, he's the guy that we have singled out as, as playing a little bit of cor- uh, excuse me, nickel and safety. I mean, and now especially, now look, that was before they brought in Andre Sam, who's now in his seventh year of college football, who, who can play nickel, who can play safety. So uh, you have a much more veteran guy there. But it's still, it's noteworthy, right? I mean, this, because if you, we forget about it, but if you were to go back to spring, they were high on Toviano. And it's almost like he's just been forgotten in this whole conversation. Then he pops up there on the Sean Alexander Freshman of the Year award watch list with, I mean, I mean, some of the names on here, you know, Tackett Curtis is on there, Dante Moore is on there. I mean, some of the guys that were like five-star you know, some of the highest rated prospects in the country, you know, Damon Wilson at Georgia. It, so it's it's interesting that of all of the freshmen that could have been on that list, I mean, Lance Hurd isn't on that list. I mean, got Shelton Sampson isn't on that list. Jalen Brown isn't on that list. I mean, guys who, Deshaun Womack, Five-star, the highest-rated player in this class for you isn't on that list. The one that made it was Javon Tobiano, and he's kind of been a forgotten guy so far in this fall camp. Um, maybe one to circle and put an asterisk just to see as they search for answers in that secondary. Um, could Tobiano be a guy that some at some point factors into it? Look, it certainly looks like Ashton Stamps is the one that has elevated his game and has, has taken reps and, and solidified himself on the two deep at, at cornerback. But maybe Tobiano is one we can keep an eye on. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.